It's one thing to listen to the message. I want to run as the Republican nominee. Another to watch it. Experts say nonverbal cues may tell almost as much about a candidate as what comes out of his or her mouth. Body language is nothing more than our thoughts revealed. Donald Trump may have stolen the show right out of the box in Thursday night's debate. You can't say tonight that you can make that pledge. I cannot say. I and then what he does is he brings his hands out and he turns his palms. It kind of tilts his head. That's uncertainty. Whether it's holding his hands out, pointing a finger to his head, or just a classic Donald Trump smirk, a lot can be learned from body language. Take someone's posture, shoulders back, shoulders slumped. What we find is that people that broaden have more confidence and dominance. Those that retract, they lose confidence, become small, and they become more insecure. And what direction you lean? He's also a very relaxed guy. That's just his demeanor. He's a boots on the ground kind of guy. And who you face? Head on. No, I'll tell you how you get a warrant. Let me tell you something. Take a look at Rand Paul rolling his eyes. He has absolutely no respect for Christie whatsoever. Or Donald. Trump holding and adjusting the microphone. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me. It's almost like he's guarding himself and protecting self protection, self soothing gesture. He was not feeling very confident right there. And what about the hand gestures? Thumbs up, slicing downward, or constantly moving. When the hands are tending to move rapidly, what's happening internally, there's massive anxiety that's going on. And so what does it do? It has to leak out and expel somewhere. And any way you slice it, impromptu body language should not be ignored, experts say, because what it holds may be the truth. I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct.